is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. I apologize for the shaky cam. We are in the vehicle on the way to take on a giant six pound breakfast burrito at Zobo and Meester's near Palm Springs, California. This thing is massive. It looks delicious. I have one hour to eat six pounds of burrito and then should I be successful, which I am like nine gazillion percent sure I will be, tomorrow I will be back. They also offer a six pound giant sub sandwich challenge, which I'm also looking forward to giving a try. So I am still obviously in California visiting with some friends. I brought the cold weather with me as you can tell. I'm going to Palm Springs but I'm all bundled up so yeah I will see you guys there hopefully warm up with a nice hot spicy breakfast burrito. Cheers! Zobo and Meester's in Cathedral City. I have ordered the giant six pound burrito. It is filled with eggs, cheese, potatoes, and I got mine filled with a breakfast ham. I have one hour to eat this burrito to get the meal for free and also a $25 gift certificate to come back here and enjoy some more delicious food. If you guys aren't aware, this place has been featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives and uh, has some rave reviews behind it and I can tell it has a really cool vibe, really neat place. Owner is great. So I'm going to let this cool down for just a few moments and then I'm going to dig right into this deliciousness. It looks amazing. I'm ready to enjoy a delicious breakfast burrito. All right, crew, we are going to go ahead and start this timer in three, two, one, and go. All right, let's dig in. Ooh, that's delicious. This burrito is amazing. Could you do me a huge favor, Dee, and grab some ketchup? Thank you. It's a cool part of having friends here, they can grab you things. <laughs> this thing looks amazing. Mm. I'll only be like the sixth person, I think, to finish this. Perfect, thank you. Mm. This is really good. And welcome to the video, y'all. Future Katina Eats Kilos here, coming at you with a little bit of voiceover. This was such a delicious burrito. Not spicy at all, which is how I like it. I am a wuss. This was just pure flavored goodness. Chef crushed it. That is so good. I didn't want it to just be big. I wanted it to be good. And big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so good. I see why this is on Triple D. <laughs> I might go animal style, go in with my hands, maybe. It's really soft, really delicious. Mm. I'm weird, I like mine with ketchup. Yeah, so when Guy visited on Triple D, he actually ordered like a really spicy sandwich there. So these guys are known for their barbecue and also their sandwiches as well as their delicious breakfast. So if you guys ever visit, give this a try. There's a reason why Guy Fieri visited here. <laughs> Ooh, model status, work it. Your chef got a good one, I think. <laughs> messy face photo. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hard work being a fat star. <laughs> it really does. No. Nope, waiting doesn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, so this thing's definitely not a joke. There have been tons and tons of attempts at this challenge and only five had completed it before I had come in and tried this. So it's definitely not a light challenge. About halfway through, eight minutes in, this is really delicious. One of the best burritos I've ever had. Definitely ch check this place out if you're ever in um, the low desert of California. Try not to be a super slob about it. <laughs> It's real hard to be clean while doing food challenges, but I did my best here. There was quite a crowd already, so yeah, good times. I tried. About 10 minutes in, just halfway. <laughs> good stuff. 
not to be gross, but it's always good to get a good burp. I'm not getting a good burp. <laughs> Yeah, that's always my downfall, is not burping. Even with soda, I just can't. I'm feeling yesterday's challenge a little bit. It's still in my stomach. I didn't think it was because I was hungry. It's still in there, though. Mm -hmm. I'm just a little more uncomfortable than I'd normally be this early. I do. Yeah. The day before this was the Iron Man challenge at Broken Yoke Cafe, so even though I didn't go hard, it was still in my belly. I'm gonna do the hefty part now, save the middle for the end. That way it just visually looks like a little bit less. This is heavy. This probably, this section right here is probably a pound and a half, roughly. It was a good amount of food right here. I'm starting to get really warm. I was gonna wear a tank top and I was like, no, it's so cold out. Should've wore a tank top. Unfortunately, during my trip, it rained and was freezing cold, but this burrito sure did warm me up. Huh. 20 minutes in, still delicious, but I'm ready for some ice cream. Let's finish this up. That's your favorite Katina right there. I always have a sweet tooth. Down to the last slice. Let's get it. Ugh. I'm gonna use a good burp. <laughs> It was awesome having such a supportive group there. But yeah, I'm just about to finish up here and I will let you guys enjoy the rest of this video kind of as is and enjoy the friendly banter amongst me and the rest of the staff. Hey, do you mind grabbing me one more ketchup? Thank you so much. <laughs> Too late now, I'd already be disqualified. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to beat 30 minutes, but no matter how delicious that is, you get kind of flavor fatigue. Yeah, definitely. And it's like, all I want right now is ice cream. <laughs> I just have ice cream after. Oh, Amber's food. Amber's food. Adam, Adam, Richard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. He's a legend. You got this, right? Oh, totally. Yeah, the last few bites here, in the bag. Do not try this at home, kids. Uh, I'm not full, but it's that flavor fatigue. My body's like, you don't want to swallow that. The play on my weightlifting name for my weightlifting days. No pressure. None. None, especially the I don't blush and she finished it anyways. Okay? <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Let's make this an epic final bite. All right, last bite, gonna go in. Well, maybe two bites. We we'll go. see what happens. There it is. All or nothing. I don't know. Mm. Not quite. Wow. Mm. Yes. Now the last bite. Wow. Give it a thumbs up. When I'm done. Okay. That was amazing. Ah, boom. Woo, 35 minutes in 50 seconds at Zobo and Meester's. Everyone here is super nice. That food was incredible. I am ready for some ice cream or like a smoothie or something sweet, but that was absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend you guys come out here, have a normal people-sized burrito, 
have a normal people size uh, sandwich or barbecue. This place is great. Thank you very much to Bart for uh, doing this. And I will hopefully be back, maybe if not tomorrow, a different day to take on their sub sandwich. And as always, if you guys like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would help me out a lot. See you in the next video.